Welcome to It's a Cruise Life and thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, we hope you enjoy our content and hopefully you'll consider subscribing. In this video, we explore as much as we can of the Ring of Kerry in one day. You're not going to be able to see much of this area on public transport, so you're likely going to have to hire a car. And this is reasonable at about 25 euros per day. We started our trip in Kenmare, heading anti-clockwise around the Ring of Kerry. Heading through Moles Gap, our first stop was Ladies View. Before we make our first stop, let's enjoy some of the views whilst driving. Ladies View is possibly the most scenic viewpoint on the Ring of Kerry and is one of the most photographed places in Ireland. The name stems from the admiration of the view given by Queen Victoria's ladies in waiting during Victoria's visit to Ireland in 1861. The next stop is the upper lake of Killarney and this is the first of three adjoining lakes.
This is another photographic opportunity where the views are just stunning in every direction and if the weather permits it also looks like a nice place for a swim. After the brief stop at the lake we headed towards Talk Waterfall at the foot of Talk Mountain. The water cascades down the mountain from a lake at the top called the Devil's Punch Bowl. It's an easy stroll to the waterfall, which is about 200 metres away. However, the hike to the top is another story. have decided to take us on a hike um, up the side of a mountain to a waterfall. Not particularly stressful, but it's a bit of a mission. Got some great footage, some drone footage, and we're nearly at the top. This place is, uh, yeah, I mean we're not getting much of this kind of scenery in England, so it makes, makes a change to come out into the wilderness, as it were away from city life but yeah there you go that's the start of it um yeah we're not going to go any higher because we've got a few things to do today and um you know we didn't really anticipate coming this high up but we're going to start heading back down now and go for a bit of lunch the walk from talk waterfall to muckross house is about 1.7 kilometers and if you still have the energy it's a nice walk However, if you're feeling a bit fatigued, you can hire a horse and cart for about 25 euros return. We decided to walk to Muckross House, but decided to jump on the horse and cart for the return journey. And we managed to haggle them down to 10 euros per person. Muckross House is the focal point of Killarney's National Park. The owners and the estate were in the limelight for almost going bankrupt in constructing a home fit for the visit of Queen Victoria in 1861. The house is now a museum and costs nine euros for entry. There's also a restaurant where you can grab a bite to eat. And the right here now you get a good view of the lake. You do portraits here around the lake. Yeah, the, oh, boat, yeah, the, boat, the boats are boring tonight. Right? <laughs> the house is better as well, yeah. And the boat trips up as well out to the lake. Different experience on that. It's lovely, quite calm yeah, lake. Yeah, it's, the lake is very canty. First day we didn't get wind this year, so it's quite windy this year. Mm. No, but the lake is always windy. The Queen came then in 1861, Queen Victoria. Oh. She did. The site is three years, over 250 years I know, years we looked at that way down. And then the boat also, the boat is...
We came off the Ring of Kerry Road to take the lower road through the Gap of Dunlow. This is a much smaller, rugged road that twists and bends, and much of the road is not wide enough for two cars. So you'll find yourself at various points pulling in to let the oncoming traffic through, as well as walkers, hikers and cyclists. So the Gap of Dunlow was probably the highlight of the trip for us. Um, you know, that bendy, windy road, it was so narrow, you, you know, two cars couldn't pass. Um, you know, you give them away to cyclists and walkers. Um, yeah, it was quite scary, really, so look after that, hire a car. Um, yeah, the mountains, the lakes, the bridges, um, spectacular views. Um, and it was great to get the drone up and get some of those shots. Um, it's a place that we would definitely, definitely go back to. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to explore a bit, give them, give them more time, but we, we had one day and basically we've, you know, we've taken in as much as we can. Um, so, you know, there's unfinished business and we're going to have to go back one day. Um, yeah, we'll look forward to it. So we thought that was it for the day, but our hosts had one final surprise up their sleeve. 
en route back to Kenmare we drove down by the bay where Pete was sailing his boat for the day so we decided to pop down and see him and I went out on the boat for half an hour or so. Finally, we have to finish this video off by saying thanks to our hosts, Jane and Pete, who made these few days happen for us.